Hello, beautiful creatives of the world. We are so excited to be live right now and sharing with you a little inside look into the mastery program. Um, my name is Jake Dunn. This is Dimitri Milan. We are uh, co-owners of Milan Art Institute and also artists ourselves, and we teach part of the mastery program. Um, and we are so excited to share with you uh, a little inside look into the master program tonight. So at the end of this, we're gonna be doing a Q and A. Uh, so we'll be answering all your questions. So please save your questions until the end because unfortunately today we do not have someone attending the live chat. I will be checking your messages live here on the spot though, um, as soon as we get to the Q and A section. Um, so please hold your questions till then. Uh, and we are going to get started without further ado. So yeah, Deutra, what are you, excited about with this? <laughs> <laughs> well, the mastery program, I mean, as probably all of you watching have heard from lots of students who have graduated or students currently in the program, it's so life-changing and it's transformative and not only in your art career, but also in your personal life. Um, it's just such an exciting program and it's really a journey. So. Um, we're excited just to answer all your questions and probably with this, um, what's it called? Presentation. Presentation yeah. that we're doing. Um, a lot of your questions will already get answered because we're going to go, um, really in depth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I actually had the pleasure of going through the mastery program myself. It was really a transformative experience for me. Um, I went into the mastery program in 2019. Um, I got to take it and the condensed version of it in just four months. It was absolutely crazy. Did it 40 hours a week um, and finished the whole program, graduated uh, at the end of 2019, and it completely changed my life forever. Mm -hmm. um, I went into the program hoping that I would be able to create art uh, as cover art for music that I was producing. <laughs> and I came out of the program um, with a full portfolio selling uh, tens of thousands of uh, dollars worth of art and also um, just became a completely changed person. So it just radically changed my life. And um, so I'm a huge advocate for the program. And now I actually have worked with Milan Art Institute for a long time. Obviously, uh, for those of you who know us, um, Dimitri and I are married, uh, we're a couple, <laughs> and um, became a co-owner of Milan Art Institute. And uh, yeah, let, anyways, let's get into the actual history of the mastery program itself. But um, really quick, <clears throat> his transformation, going through the program, we filmed it all and he made a vlog, which is really cool um, and entertaining. And that's here on YouTube. So yes. you can watch that after yeah. this. If you want to go to um, the Art Social uh, YouTube channel and just scroll down to playlists, you can find it there. Uh, it is the mastery program vlog. So, okay. So yeah, what we're going to be talking about in this live is you know just share a little bit about our vision and mission as a um, as a school, and then you know do an overview of the mastery program. Share with you all the benefits of taking the mastery program. Um, you know go through some common questions and concerns, and then talk uh, and do a live Q and A with you guys. So we'll be answering your questions then. Um, so yeah, and we'll probably have a little bit of other stuff in between. If you've watched some of our lives, you know that sometimes we like to. Impro improv a little bit so <laughs> okay so why are we here so our mission and vision is to um help artists become who they are truly meant to be through art so we have a deep conviction that our purpose is to awaken artists to their destiny and still belief and equip them to change the world through the art and so what does it mean to even change the world through your art well we believe that every single power holds the painting to transform lives and that's because if you've ever walked into a room that has a painting, it can just emanate power. Mm -hmm. And that power can completely shift your perspective. And all it takes is to shift one person's perspective. And that person can go and shift other people's perspectives. And the cascading effect is infinite. And so I, I really, truly do believe that one painting can change the world. I mean, just look at, you know, Mona Lisa, for example. I mean, that is probably the most iconic painting of all time. Or take Starry Night. I mean, imagine what the world would be without these iconic paintings paintings. And mm -hmm. so our goal is to raise up an army of artists that are creating light and creating beauty so that we can change the world and bring more beauty and light into this world. Um, and so that is the whole entire purpose of our organization. That's the purpose of the mastery program. And uh, it, its curriculum is laid out in a way that you build the skills necessary in a sequential manner in order to create the art that truly exists inside of your heart 
so that you can affect people and you know be a part of this movement that's changing the world. So that that is our mission. Um, that's our vision, and everything we do is centered around that. Um, whether it's you know deciding what we're what new features we're going to add to Art Social, or what videos we're going to refilm for the Mastery Program, or uh, you know videos we add to Art Club, or content that we put out on Art Social, whatever it is that we're doing, it's all centered around that. So. Yeah, um, I feel like maybe we should do quick intros of ourselves, or I don't know, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. <laughs> Um, so in the picture here is my mom and I, and we both teach yeah, that's the mastery not me. program. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we both teach the mastery program. My mom does the majority of the teaching, um, but I also teach a good portion of it. And then Jake teaches part of it as well, um, mostly in marketing, which is really exciting. And we'll get to that later. But um, I've been a professional artist for the last nine years. And um, I have worked with a publisher. I've sold my paintings all over the world. I've had them in galleries all over the US. And um, now I self-represent and sell mainly through online platforms and social media and my website and just direct to my collectors. Mm -hmm. So that's how um, I make a living as an artist. And I'm really excited to just um, share with you about the mastery program today and everything that we have experienced in our personal art careers we're sharing that with you so that's what the master program is it's what my mom and I have our combined years of experience it's we just share it with everyone so mm -hmm. and um, your dad as well yeah mm -hmm. so it's really a powerful program full of just lots of great techniques and tips and, and genuine yeah. life experiences yeah. too not just teaching from a teacher's perspective but teaching from a professional artist's perspective and you know though my journey as an artist has been uh much shorter as you heard earlier i just started painting in 2019 i actually never even picked up a paintbrush before that i have had the, the massive privilege of helping Demetra build her business and scale her business to over six figures um, through you know self-representing as opposed to working with the publisher mm -hmm. and uh, been it's been such a pleasure uh, <laughs> such a pleasure sounds so formal <laughs> it's been just honestly so much fun helping her build her business um, and also helping build Milan Art Institute and uh, I, for those of you who don't know I'm the CMO of Milan Art Institute so I'm very heavily involved in the marketing have learned so much because we have really grown the school um, you know, we have over 46,000 people on art social now. It's just wow. mind blowing. Yeah. Um, and it's been such a, such an honor to get to be a steward of it. And so, you know, through the mastery program, I share some of my tips and advice and marketing, um, and specifically on website building. And, you know, you can learn exactly how I built my website from start to finish in its entirety in the mastery program, um, step by step. I even give you a template of all the copy that I wrote for the website and everything. So. Um, anyways, this lady in the picture, who is not me, <laughs> is her mom, as she said before, and she's the founder of Milan Art Institute, um, which is a part of Art Social, which is the Mastery Program too, for those of you who don't know. <clears throat> and um, she helped found Milan Art Institute. Uh, she co-founded it with her husband, John, her father, mm -hmm. uh, in 2010. So we're and a family business. <laughs> yes, it's a family-run business. Um, and, and we're very proud of that, honestly, yeah. because, um, for those of you who've ever worked in a family business before, it's hard. it can it, get hard, yeah. honestly, but, uh, it is really, really so, um, enriching and I would say rewarding when um, you can make it work. Yeah. yeah. Making it work mm -hmm. and, and doing it for so long too. And just, yeah. um, I, I never see, I never see an end to it. So. Um, anyways, so, you can talk more yeah. about the humble beginnings because she was there. That's well, her in the picture. <laughs> really quickly, I'll just give a short story to um, how Milan Art Institute got started. Yeah. Um, it's a very long story, and my <laughs> mom tells it so well because this is really her story because she is the one who founded the school. And um, basically, it all started in this metal building, and you can see in that picture on the right where it started um, – Okay, never mind. Just want to make sure that Spoiler picture was alert. next. <laughs> but it was a big, empty building, and my parents wanted it for their own personal studio. 
And um, really, they just, they actually, they felt like God told them in like a dream that they're meant to uh, start an art school. And she didn't like believe it at first, but then it just it kept growing on her. And she really got this passion to help other artists and not just teaching classes, but she wanted to help them in their careers and make a living from it. So because that's what they had been doing since I think it was 1998 or for, for 20 years. Yeah. yeah, they made a living um, just from the sale of their work. And so, um, yeah, so this is the school and it really took off in 2010 and um, that's when it opened. And so this is in Queen Creek, Arizona, and it was really in the middle of nowhere at the time. Now Queen Creek is getting bigger, but you probably have never heard of it. <laughs> and <laughs> Unless you live in Arizona. <clears throat> so we were really outgrowing the school and after a few years, we just, we were, my mom started teaching the mastery program um, in person. And she basically got this like download of ideas for the mastery program because before that she was just teaching one-off lessons, <clears throat> like just, I don't know, mixed media classes, like here's an abstract class or um, a still life class. She would just do, you know, little classes like that. But then she just got this whole download for an entire curriculum, which is the mastery program. And she just wrote it all down. I think she got it in like a couple hours. She just like wrote everything down. And um, that's what we have today in the mastery program. Mm -hmm. And so she, we taught that in person. I helped teach her in person with her in person. And we could only handle about 12 students. Um, and we- Her class. Her yeah. class. And we did two classes. So we only were teaching 24 students at a time throughout the entire year. And um, because it's a year long program. And then we'd have students on wait lists and we had people coming from other countries wanting to stay at our house and like take the program. And we had to tell people, no, it was just, it was just growing so big and we wanted to help more people. And so finally we decided to take it online. And that was, um, after a year and a half of filming this, we filmed the entire program and put it online and that was 2019. Mm -hmm. So that was a really big year. So yeah. That's a little backstory. <laughs> and what Dimitra failed to mention is that a huge part of the reason that the master program started taking off is Dimitra's career as an artist, um, and especially her social media, uh, really started to grow a lot. And she got a lot of media coverage. She was on Fox News. She was on My Modern Met, um, still is on My Modern Met, <laughs> and uh, you know, on Teen Vogue, and got a lot of uh, attention in the public. And people kept asking, like, how can I learn to paint like you? How can I learn to paint like you? And, you know, a lot of our students would discover her art on Pinterest. I'm sure probably some of you who are watching this experience the same thing. You see her art for the first time. Gosh, what are we doing? We don't even have a painting behind. Andrew, could you grab one of her paintings, like that one or Promised Land or something? The big one, one. The big one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, anyways, they saw her art and... Oh, is it stuck? I'm so sorry. We should have done this before, man, but <laughs> improv. <laughs> yeah, just up on the camera. Thank you so much. This is Tanner. He's our media manager. He's an awesome person. He helps us out so much. Uh, and he's the man behind the camera. And then we also have Alex over there. He's our media director. And he <laughs> he's the man on the controller. So anyways, just a short introduction. But as I was saying, sometimes I like to interrupt myself. As I was saying, Dimitra, you know, her art just completely started to explode. And um, so many people were just falling in love with it. And the style had... Um, taken hold i i think it was just she's a huge pioneer in the abstract realism kind of movement of art and um as you can see behind me it's like it's just captivating and so um she a lot of people started reaching out and as it just grew and grew um the the demand for it we we really decided well they decided i wasn't there at the time uh <laughs> i was there in spirit though <laughs> but they decided that you know they had to take it online uh they had a duty to artists all over the world because um this type of art this not just this type of art but the skills and the knowledge that allow you to create art that is truly within your heart um, should be shared with everyone. And so that's really a huge component mm -hmm. of the mission. So yeah. anyways, let's talk about what is the master program. Now, you know, the why let's talk about what and slash or how, uh, <laughs> you'll actually become this professional artist. So, um, <clears throat> first things first, an overview of the mastery program. Well, 
You teach more of it. Why don't you go through it? Okay. <laughs> so I'm just going to see what's next. That's more informative. But basically the program is split into four sections. So um, we help you develop your skills, find your artistic voice and style, which is the biggest thing of all because, um, I mean, there's really no program out there or even art school that's going to help you find your style, your voice, create a portfolio, and then help you start selling it. So um, that's the most exciting part of this program is you get to find which process is unique to you, which process do you really enjoy um, painting, and um, we help you establish your style, build your brand as an artist, implement um, a marketing strategy and a one-year plan um, when you graduate the program, and then promote your artwork and connect with your community. And I, I just wanted to add to um, to the it, it, every single section builds on each other. Yeah. So the developing your skills, you can't find your voice and your style without having developed your skills. And, and you can't mm -hmm. build a brand without having your own unique voice and style. And you can't have a marketing strategy without having uh, a portfolio. A, a to portfolio. And exactly. you can't promote your art and you know connect with. Well, you can connect with your community. Regardless. But anyways, <laughs> All you get the does point. build off of each other. Mm -hmm. And we've had students with, they come in with either like no skills at all, maybe just a little bit of skill or even professionals who um, like they have a lot of skill, but they want to actually have a voice and a style because some artists, they can paint so many different things, but it's not cohesive at all. And they don't really know what their style is. So we've had Artists from all different backgrounds and different skill levels take the program and it's completely changed their life and it's they've become better because of it. And the amazing part that I think is like truly remarkable about this, because this is an online program, is that, you know, you might think it's so difficult or um, isolating maybe to try to find your voice on your own without someone directly giving you advice and guidance. But the way that the program is filmed and the way that um, really your mom, Ellie, she, the way that she teaches the voice section mm -hmm. and you you give um, you have you teach some lessons there, too. But the way that she structured it allows you on your own through self-reflection and, you know, through examples of watching other people as well, allows you on your own to go through it and actually discover your own voice. And um, yeah, so. So as Dimitra said before, this is the mastery program journey. So there's four parts, drawing and oil painting is part one. Then you move on to mixed media and voice. And then you move on to becoming a professional and building your portfolio. And after that, it's time to market and sell your art. My favorite part. So <laughs> <laughs> actually, I would say the mixed media and voice is my favorite part. Too, it's but. all fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it really is. It is such a it's just such a life altering experience going through it. And um, I definitely look back on my days going through the master program with a lot of joy. And, uh, and, and you know, it's, it is tough. Like there's a lot of soul searching throughout the program. Mm -hmm. um, and you discover parts of yourself that you didn't even know were there before. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what it's all about, you know? Yeah. So anyways, uh, just a moment of deep reflection. Um, okay, benefits. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, so you in the mastery program get to unleash your creativity. Um, so, what does that mean? You're gonna learn how to activate your right brain. Mm -hmm. Dutra, what is the right brain? Um, well, probably you guys have heard of like right brain, left brain. And they are, you know, different parts of your brain that do different things. And your left brain is very analytical. And that's kind of like your thinking side where you really problem solve. Um, and people at work or at school, that's where you're really like building up your left brain. So it's extremely, it's like the, you're focused in the past and in the future. But the right brain is always in the present and it's your creative side. Um, it's the side of you that's like, you can't really put intuitive. into words. Yeah, intuitive. Yeah. Um, you feel things. Abstract. Everything's just, yeah, in the yeah. moment. So that's the place that you need to be when you're painting. Mm -hmm. And so we teach you. That's really the main thing to becoming an amazing artist is knowing how to use ac and access your right brain mm -hmm. and building that mus muscle and, like, knowing how to um, 
it's just something that you work on. And the more that you are able to get into your right brain, the easier it'll be to paint. Yeah. So yeah, we give all kinds of um, lessons on that. Yeah. And that's uh, like, like you said, that's the key to seeing like an artist and being able to um, paint anything that you can see. And um, really, I think, fall in love with the painting process. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, when you hear artists talk about the flow state, that's when that's you're in right your brain. right brain. Yeah. So the right brain is the flow state. Um, okay, so in addition to unleashing your creativity through your right brain, you're going to understand true color theory. Um, why does it say true, Tintra? <laughs> <laughs> well, this is, this is another long story to explain, but... Um, I feel like we have we have a very special approach to color theory, and I don't know that it's really taught anywhere else. Um, but my mom, um, I don't I don't know if she's the pioneer of it, but she kind of discovered this. It's always been there, but mm -hmm. she discovered that with oil paint and any paint that it doesn't really work with acrylics. But t should I go into the details? Well, okay. <laughs> long story short, it's it's a long lesson. I mean, you're gonna learn it, but. Yeah. Basically, there's paint it's a that, secret. <laughs> that moves towards you. We call those warm colors and paints that move away. And those are cool colors. Mm -hmm. So um, we teach you how to mix color properly and how you can never make muddy oil paint because so many people struggle with oil painting because their colors get so muddy or um, they just really don't know how to mix the paint. So um, we make that super easy and break it down and you'll just be amazed at what you learn. Yeah. And this technique is the secret to unlocking depth control within your paintings, specifically oil paintings, as, as she said. So this this will allow you to create art that feels three-dimensional mm -hmm. um, and kind of jumps off the canvas and has colors that are truly alive. And so. this will set you apart from so many artists out there if you mm -hmm. know this technique because it, it just shows that you really know how to mix paint. Mm -hmm. And like Jake said, your objects will be three-dimensional looking. So... Yeah, like we had a gallery owner in uh, Scottsdale in 2019 when we did the graduation show for all the mastery program students at the time that were in person. Um, we rented out a gallery and in Scottsdale and threw on the show. And um, the gallery owner told us that he had received many comments, many or more than he'd ever received before of the paintings feeling alive just from people walking by on the street and seeing the paintings through the window. And that's indicative or that was all the students, you yeah. know, all, it wasn't just one artist who had that. It was all the students who've learned this method and this technique of mixing oil paint. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I'm really excited for you to learn that. And the way I think a, another thing that really sets apart is it's not mathematic. It's not like a formula or formulaic, I should say, in mixing color. It's more of an intuitive process so that you can stay in the flow and stay in your yeah. right brain and not be calculating as you're trying to paint because that's not how painting should be in my opinion so um <clears throat> so anyways yeah you're going to learn how to paint what you see how to synthesize and finish a piece you're going to understand your personal aesthetic and well before we move on what is a personal aesthetic team show <laughs> it is what you find beautiful mm -hmm. so your personal preference of beauty and mm -hmm. that's what makes you have your own style and voice it's a big part of it so um yeah we go through that really in depth we actually have a whole youtube video as well we did a podcast with Tintra and her brother um on the entire topic of personal aesthetic as well of course we go more and it's more of like what is personal aesthetic and in the master program you learn how to find your own personal mm -hmm. aesthetic so um okay so how your unique voice shows in your art um, and you're going to know your personal brand archetype um, and also that's going to lead to you know you being able to market yourself um, consistently so it's very very helpful okay um, in addition you're going to learn modern mixed media techniques and that includes building layers using high flow acrylics and inks mark making spray paint collage palette knife, gold leaf. I feel like we didn't mention before, but you know, just in case it's not clear, you're also going to learn oil painting, drawing, using charcoal, mm -hmm. using graphite, foundational using, skills. Um, yeah. what is it called? Uh, uh, powder charcoal, mm -hmm. uh, powder graphite, water soluble graphite, water soluble. Is there water soluble charcoal? I don't know. I can't I remember. I don't think so. But graphite, <laughs> water soluble yeah. graphite, 
hair and dosh crayons, all that stuff. There's so many different materials covered. And as an artist, sometimes it can feel overwhelming, like, ah, oh, which material should I even buy? Because, you know, I mean, some art supplies are expensive. And if you don't know how to use the art supplies or you don't have a confident way to learn how to use the art supplies, then, you know, you're, you could be missing out on some art supplies that you absolutely will fall in love with. So the master program is great because you can learn all about the different art supplies um, and learn all yeah, of them. And know how so to that use you, them. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Know how to use them so that you can incorporate them into your own process and your own style. So, <clears throat> yes. Okay. Um, you're going to learn how to build a thriving art career. So this includes getting your product ready for sale. And by product, we mean not just your artwork and your paintings, but all the different products that you're going to create, your product from a business perspective, your what you're selling, your value proposition. Um, and you're going to start selling your art, building your brand. Um, you're going to learn how to create a successful artist statement and bio. You're gonna learn how to build your website, uh, you're going to learn uh, how to create a social media marketing strategy. And we actually just created a new 30 day content plan for mm -hmm. master program students that is uh, very comprehensive and designed for you to understand how to connect with collectors instead of market to other artists. Because mm -hmm. I think that's something that a lot yeah. of artists get wrong. They post content that's geared towards other artists and not geared towards collectors. And there's a very very stark difference in the strategy um, that yeah, goes behind it's that. just so. a different strategy mm -hmm. and so uh, in addition you're going to learn sales and promotion we're talking about in-person sales and online sales as well uh, you're going to learn how to get into galleries Dimitra is a master of this well galleries basically <laughs> beg you to be in there <laughs> but uh, you're going to learn how to get into a gallery even if you don't haven't worked with a publisher and how to you know cold call cold email um, galleries so that you can get into the ones that you truly love uh, and you're going to learn how to launch your career as an artist i also want to add with selling your work um, this isn't just for the end of the program our students sell their work the entire program mm -hmm. long so their study pieces they sell um, they just share about it and people buy them and it's really amazing within the first few lessons you're gonna see your skills just go from like zero to 100 basically like you're gonna be amazed at the skills that you achieve so quickly mm -hmm. and um we have students who pay for the program because of the sale of their art mm -hmm. so they're selling their work the entire time and that's really cool yeah and honestly i would highly recommend that you like a lot of people might feel embarrassed but and rally your family members, rally your community, uh, and let them all know that you're making this big step, that you're choosing to prioritize yourself, you're choosing to pursue your passion and do something that you're so excited about and that you absolutely love. And if you let people know how passionate you are about this and you're posting about it and you're sharing mm -hmm. your work and they're seeing your growth, you're going to have so many people telling you, I never knew you were so talented. Yeah. That's something that we hear all the time. Yep. You know how many family members of mine told me and they also bought paintings for me because they're like, whoa, I never knew you were so talented. And I was like, well, <laughs> I wasn't. <laughs> You could do it too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it really is about uh, the lessons and the techniques that you learn and learning how to think and see and um, be an artist, really. Mm -hmm. So, okay. So uh, now we're going to share with you a couple different testimonials. Um, I'm going to read this for you because it's a really amazing testimonial. Yeah. Um, so this is a graduate from March 2020 or when... That's when she started, I guess. So looking back on March, 2020, I was out of a job and completely lost. I saw an Instagram ad for the online master program and instantly felt the calling. I didn't know how to pay for it and I had never picked up a paintbrush before. At 48, it certainly seemed I couldn't learn to be an artist that quickly. Best decision in my life. I honestly thought I would burn out after two months, but now at 18 months, I'm still painting every day and loving it. Thank you for being here so I never felt alone. This program has exceeded all my expectations. It brought me from a complete beginner to now being able to produce professional art. So that's Lam Jasmine yeah. Bauman. Uh, she's a master program graduate and you can look her up on her Facebook. Her art's amazing. I, I, I mean, yes. And it's right there. Yeah. But she actually never painted, never drew, like, like you, never held mm -hmm. a paintbrush before taking this program. And um, she didn't add that in here, but I know. No, her, she did. So. She said, I never picked up a paintbrush before. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
yeah. and you can look her up on Facebook. Uh, I believe she's more active on Facebook. That's where she does m more of her promotion because it fits for her target audience. But um, yeah, super amazing story. I think we have another. Yeah, Nicola um, Ethelson. So how about you read it? Kelly and Dimitra, you and your ways have completely changed my way of thinking, not just in the art world, but in life too. I know I'm always thanking you, but I really am wholeheartedly grateful. I know there is so much hard work that goes on behind the scenes at the school and all involved do an amazing job. Thank you to all, and I really hope to meet you in person someday. And I hope to meet you too. Yeah, come to Milan Art Experience this year. We'd love to meet you. Um, okay, let's see. Oh, another one. Okay. Uh, okay, so Roberta uh, Fafo, she actually has won, I believe, two or three art club contests now. I don't know. But anyways, join, she said, joining the program was the best de decision I've ever made. They are a professional team, and all you will learn will bring you a new mindset with all the tools to become a professional artist and start making a living with your passion. Highly recommended. I would do it again and again. And actually, a lot of our students do take the mastery program again, um, not because they feel like they, well, it really, it's not the entire program, but the, the beauty in the master program is that you have lifetime access to the content. So mm -hmm. you can go in and, you know, say a year and a half from now, um, after you take the program, you're like, hmm, I, I really want to do more a la prima, but I can't remember exactly what was taught in that lesson. So you can go back and watch the lesson again and set up your still life and do your a la prima and remember exactly all, you know, all the different techniques that you learned through the program. And, um, you know, just like anything in life, like reading a book, you're naturally going to forget some things over time. And with the master program, you will have lifetime access to it. So at any point in the future, you can go back and rewatch the lessons. So, okay. So common questions and concerns. Um, so a lot of people want to know what qualifications or experience is required to take the master program. So by now, I hope you know that you really don't need to have any experience at mm -hmm. all whatsoever like as you saw lamb she had no experience i myself had no experience um so many of our students have you know we we heard the saying all the time i couldn't even draw a fly or oh, i'm so bad at drawing i can't draw a stick figure mm -hmm. and we've had tons of those students go through the program and be amazed at how uh proficient their capabilities are actually yeah. and what the art that they had inside of them was just waiting to be unleashed on this, onto the canvas. So um, yeah, so really there's no experience and we don't require any qualifications. This isn't um, some graduate school. This is, you know, a mastery program that's available to anyone, um, anywhere, As long as time. you have the passion for yeah. it and the dedication, being an artist is really like any other career or job out there. If you wanted to be a doctor or... Um, well, I'd say not like a job, sorry to interrupt, but like building a business. Well, it's... Okay. If you're, <laughs> it's like your, I mean, job mean you make money from it. Okay. So, yeah. 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 But it's really like anything else out there. If you want to do it, you just have to put the time in and like music, if you wanted to be a musician, I mean, some musicians have talent. They're just like more natural at it, but they still had to work really hard to get where they are. And then there's musicians who've studied it from, I don't know, a, like a child and they've worked at it and so this is like the same thing you can um yeah you just have to have the passion for it so. yeah there's a, there's a spectrum right and in, in the topic of talent um uh, because i think that's kind of like the underlying question there is like you know a lot of people believe either you're talented or you're not mm -hmm. either you're born with this magical spark or you're not and yeah. the truth is that everyone has that spark within them mm -hmm. there is a, a you know a spectrum of talent though i mean we're not gonna lie like that's that's just like Dimitra was born with a lot of talent, but that doesn't mean that she didn't have to work hard in order to have a successful career. She had to bust her ass in order to, you know, make a, a million dollars the first year as a professional artist at, when she was at the age of 15, because, you know, she had to paint eight paintings a week. Was it eight paintings a week? Uh, a no, month. sorry. A, a month. month. Wow. That would be crazy. Um, although you did have to do eight paintings a week for the they portfolio were, class. Yeah, they were small, but yeah, they were smaller, but still. <laughs> Um, she had to put in not 40 hours a week, but 60, 70 hours a week, because honestly, you know, if you want to build, I mean, that's, that was a very, very, I mean, extreme case. Mm -hmm. Like you could definitely become a professional working 40 hours a week. Um, but I think you're going to want to work more than that. And what you're trying to say, I guess, with the passion, the statement about mm -hmm. just requiring passion is that if you truly do want to make this your profession, you will have to be passionate about it. And I don't think passion is just this thing either that you're born with or you're not. It's mm -hmm. also 
just like anything else, there's a spectrum. It grows. And anyone mm-hmm. can find passion, I yeah. believe. Like I wasn't passionate about art when I first started. I was honestly more curious. But then that curiosity, as I learned more and as I, you know, gained new skills, it morphed into this burning passion. And really, I fell in love with the flow state that I found myself in Mm -hmm. when I was painting. And um, that is, you know, that's what I love so much is the feeling of getting into that creative flow. Um, And anyways, that's what's going to drive you to wanting to work 40 hours a week, to wanting to build your website to, you know, create a marketing strategy, to writing all the copy, to doing the things that aren't necessarily fun in the moment, but you know that you need to do. And so, you know, I, I might've scared some people there with the (laughs) 40 to 60 hours a week. Uh, and certainly you don't have to do that to begin with, right? This is a process. This whole program at your own pace, especially if you, um, do pay in full, then you have the whole thing up front and, um, you can, you know, schedule everything, But also, if you're doing the monthly, you can still, like, after the 12 payments that you make, you have this for life, you're, you have lifetime (laughs) access, so you can do it for, like, a lot of students do this in two years, or um, a year and a half, but we really recommend the year pace, Um, that's just how it's designed and built, because it's It's immersive. Yeah, we want it to be an immersive experience, because when you throw yourself into it, and you're doing it weekly and you do the lessons and you keep up as much as possible, then you learn things much faster and it's just overall much easier process. I have to admit, I screwed up as a marketing director. I didn't even mention that master program registration is (laughs) open at the beginning of this. So this whole time we've been talking about this thing and I forgot to let you know that the master program registration is open. So (laughs) yes, we open it once a month in the beginning of the month for only three days. And once you sign up, you can start right away. So that's the exciting thing. You sign up right now, you can literally go watch your first lesson. So I just wanted to mention it now because I, I just thought like, oh man, I hope people are feeling really excited about this. And then I was like, wait a second, people are like probably wondering, how do I even sign up? Yeah. So it's just masteryprogram.com. We're going to send uh, the link in the chat. You can also just type in masteryprogram.com and it'll come up. But anyways, if you're like, all right, I'm, I'm sold. I want to go start this right now. I'm ready to do it. Then uh, you can go there, sign up right now. Um, you can just turn off this video and go start watching the program. <laughs> so anyways, uh, all right, on to the second question. Um, how much studio space do I need? Well, you don't need that much space. You don't really, need this necessarily. <laughs> yeah, we teach you um, how to build this exact easel behind me. Um, and it's really inexpensive. But you can have a smaller easel, of course. You could work on a table. We've had students who are, they're all over the world and in all different circumstances. And um, I know one girl is like in the corner of her bedroom painting. So there's some you know, people are just in their kitchen on a table easel. Yeah, That's or certainly outside, not ideal, they, but they paint outside on like a, a, a smaller um, easel. So mm-hmm. you can really do it from anywhere. All you need is space for a palette not one this big necessarily. And we'll teach you how to create a palette too. But of course, if you want to build your dream studio, yeah, go for like, it. Go and for it. We're just, you know, for anyone in any circumstance trying to say that like you don't need this large elaborate studio space. But of course, if you have a garage that you can, can that you can convert into a studio and, you mm-hmm. know, just park your car outside or whatever, uh, then, then, you know, by all means go do that. But all you need is uh, uh, some bins for some paint, um, a few shelves, uh, you know, uh, you can do a quarter of the size of that as an easel. This is just so you can work on multiple paintings at the same time or, mm-hmm. you know, two paintings. gigantic paintings. Um, <laughs> and then um, space for a palette. And that's all you need. So, and I would say you probably want a room that's semi-ventilated at least. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, especially when, spray you know, we, we recommend, yeah, especially when working with indoor spray paint. Um, you know, we'll teach you how to use water-based indoor spray paint, but then also with oils, a lot of people are concerned about oils being toxic. It's really not the oils themselves. They're not toxic, um, but the, the, solvent the solvents clean. can be, mm-hmm. but we recommend soy thin and, um, a eco house, which is also, they're, they're not, I would say they're non-toxic. Although we have had some students, um, 
say that they have had reactions. Granted, you know, we've had thousands mm. of students. Really? So just like one or two people. To the eco And house? actually, Dari, our customer service director, she's amazing. Uh, but she found an alternative that is completely non-toxic that worked for them. So um, if you are concerned about that, then you can message us, customer service, just info at milanart.com, um, and we'll help you figure out a solution for that. So, um, but anyways, that's how much studio space you need. Uh, okay, I would love to learn, but I am too old slash too young. No, you're not. <laughs> We've had people all different age ranges take the program as young as like, I think 12. And then people in their 80s have taken the program. So there's really no better time to start than right now. And it's never too late. It's mm -hmm. never too early. I think, you know, the earlier, the better. So if you are young watching this and wondering if you can do it, start young because um, I think you learn things faster and you'll have an edge, but really you'll have an edge even if you're an older person. Yeah, so come on. You have an edge no matter really what age you are. Especially so. if you're an older person and you get on like TikTok or Instagram yeah. or, you know, and you start showing videos and stuff, you know, people who are older, who are creating videos, especially if you learn, you know, a little bit of the art of video making, um, then it really, you have, I would say, even an upper hand over younger people. Because if you think about it, I mean, there are, are a lot less older people utilizing social media for promotional uh, purposes and building a brand on social media. So you stand out a little bit more. But that's not to say if you're a young person, you can't uh, make it and be successful either. So mm -hmm. um, really, and if you think about Grandma Moses too, what did she start? She was like 78 or 72? Or 80 something. 72? Okay, something like that. You can Google it. But Grandma Moses was old when she started, and uh, you know when she died, she had accumulated, I think it was $14 million oh, worth wow. of, in, in net worth wow. from the sale of her artwork, and she started in her 70s or maybe 80s. I don't know, but you'll find out if you Google it. So <laughs> um, anyways, point is, you're never too old, and it's never too late, and also you're never too young to start too. You can definitely, we've had so many students who have taken this uh, while they're in high school mm -hmm. or or even I think instead of college Yeah, and well and a lot of students who've taken this instead of college who you know have wanted to pursue fine art career um, Because really there's not many fine art schools out there who are teaching you how to actually build a career um, so All right moving on from that how much time is required to complete the program? So we actually um, in all the lessons or every single week you can see how much time is um, required that week and it kind of varies a little bit week to week on based on the assignments but generally you can expect anywhere between two to four hours of video lessons every single week and watching and then anywhere between 10 to 15 hours of um, of uh, projects to work on as a as a result of the video lessons so mm -hmm. Um, and then we actually have a video that I just filmed recently with Ellie um, all about how to create a schedule using um, the resources that we have and create a schedule that works for you, even if you're a busy person and work 40 hours a week. So it's definitely possible. And that kind of answers the next two questions. You can take longer than a year. Like we talked before, you can do this at your own pace. Um, you could take two years. It's really up to you. Um, or you could be really intense and do what Jake did and do it in like four months. So it's, we've had people take it in six months. Um, it's just up to you and your schedule and the designated class times. Um, there's not designated mm -hmm. class times. And it's, watch at your own pace. Yeah. So, okay. Can I just take part of the program? You can just take part of the program, but it's not like you can pay for just part of the program. It is sold as one. Um, it is one program. Uh, and we recommend that you don't do that because like don't just do the marketing section because it's like we said in the beginning of this it all builds on top of each other and the finding the skills like having your foundational skills and going into mixed media knowing you know all the different ways to paint creating your own process finding your style and building a portfolio it all builds on top of each other mm -hmm. and it's each part's very crucial that you take that step and you go through it chronologically the way that we designed the course you just mm -hmm. got to trust the process even if you went to an art school and you know you have a master's or you know mf an mfa uh i still recommend that you go through the entire program and if anything it'll be a delightful refresher for you even if you have already learned which you definitely will have learned some of the techniques before 
but you might There's gain so a new you, fresh perspective, yeah. you know, and honestly, it's fun. So, <laughs> well, I would say there's a lot, even in the oil and drawing section that people don't learn in art school. Yeah, it's that's true. It's very unique. Well, take yeah. Esther, for example, one of our graduates from Ukraine, she went to two different art schools, traditional fine art schools in Ukraine, mm -hmm. um, you know, taught under uh, Russian old masters and Ukrainian old masters. And, um, you know, she... Once she took the program, she discovered so much that she didn't learn mm -hmm. that she thought she knew because yeah. she knew how to paint realistically before taking the program. She had so, to unlearn bad habits. Yeah, is it's what true. Happened. There are there are bad habits that are taught, um, like painting one square inch at a time. You will unlearn that, and <laughs> you'll learn how to paint free and loose, and uh, but yet accurate and detailed at the same time. So, um, okay. What if I feel like quitting at some point in the program? Don't, you'll regret it. No, but you seriously, you can you can quit. Uh, we like to say pause because we know you'll be back, but uh, <laughs> uh, but you can take just part of the program. And of course, you know, sometimes things happen in life and, you know, circumstances prevent you from completing the program. Um, so, you know, you can always, if you do decide to quit the program and later want to rejoin, then you can resume your payments from where you were. You don't have to restart your payments if you decide to take you know, the payment plan route. Um, and if you paid in full and just did the one payment, then you have lifetime access. So you can, you know, come back at any point. So um, you wouldn't be quitting. I mean, you would be quitting, but you can always return. So and um, we also have a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you, for whatever reason, you sign up right now and then you decide in a few days you don't like it, which won't happen but if you don't like it and you don't want to take the program then you can get your money back mm -hmm. your very first oil painting lesson you're going to paint this bird and you're going to be so amazed man i should have put the i should have yes, put the lesson in here i actually just saw that on my phone anyways I should have sent it to you. um your your <laughs> very first lesson you're going to paint this uh not the first lesson wait do sorry. you have your paintings in here uh no i think we packed them in the pot <sighs> yeah anyways you're going to paint a bird and you're going to be so blown away. What is it? It's the subtractive method, right? Um, mm -hmm. It's the first oil painting lesson, I think. Yeah, it, it was, is. Okay, yes, okay, it's it the is. First one. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it's just so much fun. And you really, it's like so, it, I love the program, the way it's designed, because it builds confidence in you. And then it'll break your confidence down a little bit once you get to the cities. But then <laughs> once you get past the cities, and uh, what is after the cities? You do the... There's ups and downs I didn't downs design the curriculum, sure. but there's there's definitely ups and downs. And, you know, there'll be some times when you're challenged and you're like, oh, frustrated and like, oh, do I do I even am I even an artist? And then you'll, of course, overcome that in the next lesson and uh, get right back to it. And then you'll paint something absolutely beautiful. And that's just the way that it should be, I think. So uh, it's, you know, it's a journey and it's full of discovery. And just like any good story, it's full of ups and downs. So, uh, but generally it's going to be, you're trending upwards and it's going to be a lot of fun. So, um, registration closes June 3rd. Yeah, June 3rd. Sorry. That <laughs> is a typo, <laughs> but anyways, so what is the investment? I like to refer to it as an investment because just like any good investment, you will see a return on your investment. Um, if you go through the program and you post your paintings and you share your artwork and you rally your people and you actually try to sell your artwork, then you will be able to make all of your money back and all your art supplies money back. And if you continue and you persist and you really put effort into it, then you can turn this into a full-time living and quit your job. So we've had so many students do that. We actually mm -hmm. just had a testimonial the other day of a student who had, uh, she was a teacher. Uh, no, this wasn't the other day. This was, well, anyways, uh, she was a teacher and she was a full-time teacher and um, she was able to quit her job teaching and she got into Saatchi Art Fair. She got into, not Art Fair. Yeah, yeah, Art Fair. I don't know. I can't remember the name of it. But she got into several different art fairs and was after just one, she had sold um, tens of thousands. Of, it was over $10,000 of art. So I guess technically tens of thousands. But she sold over $10,000 worth of art. And then from that, gained the confidence to be able to tender her resignation and let the school know that that would be her last year um, and so as a teacher. And so it's just, it's so amazing hearing these stories of people who get to, you know, discover this passion for art and, and really feed it and nurture it and have it grow throughout the mastery program. And then as a result, uh, you know, they get to 
wake up once they are able to quit their jobs and wake up every single day doing what they love. And a lot of artists, you know, they feel like, why should I sell my art? Like, you know, I feel like art is so sacred. Um, it, you know, I art for art's sake, right? And don't sell paintings because that's selling your soul. But really, if you think about it, what is your most valuable resource here on this planet? And that is time. Your time, your energy, I would say time and energy, um, are your most valuable resources. And when you are working at a job that you don't absolutely love wholeheartedly, that is more selling your soul yeah. because you're selling your time and your energy to someone else doing something that you don't love, that you know doesn't bring you fulfillment and joy and probably doesn't bring others as much fulfillment and joy as it would if you were doing something that you actually loved, which is painting. So under that framework of logic, <laughs> you've been duped. You have to become a professional artist if you love it. <laughs> You have to spend your time doing what you love. So anyways, I wanted to, um, you know, share some project examples throughout the master program, just so you can see this is very limited. This isn't all the examples, of course, uh, but I just wanted to show you just these are some screenshots from some of the lessons of, you know, different paintings and um, projects that you'll complete. And that is our little dog, Georgie, that we're dog sitting for her parents while her parents are in Greece shaking his head. So um, in case you could hear that. Anyways, so... This is a fun lesson. I captured a great screenshot of Dimitra mid-sentence talking, uh, teaching an abstract graphite and charcoal lesson. So super mm -hmm. fun. You'll learn how to paint abstract graphite and charcoal, an abstract in graphite and charcoal. Um, that's a re really awesome So many, yeah, everyone lesson. loves this one. This is one of those lessons that yes. gives you the confidence boost. <laughs> yes, it is. I did Einstein for this lesson and I was like, oh my gosh, what? I am an artist. <laughs> it was really fun. So yeah. yeah, it's just, it's very impressive. And a lot of people, yeah, when you share this, a lot of people will take notice. So, um, and then here's another one. This is a slightly blurry. I apologize. Um, but <laughs> this is a, another lesson on optical color mixing. Um, this is the second part of the lesson, um, finishing the painting, but yeah, as you can see, it's kind of in an impressionist style. Um, so it's called optical color mixing because you're, instead of mixing color on the palette, you're learning how to mix color on the canvas and, you know, By placing different colors next to each other. Exactly. So, um, really, really fun technique. Um, and also you're learning how to do expressive brush strokes as well. So, okay. Another one, John, DJ Freezy J Milan teaches you how to do L theory doodles. So that is this sort of theory that he's, or method of creativity he came uh, up with. that he came up with that is uh, a way to build worlds. That's how you get into your right brain. Yes. That lesson is all about right brain uh -huh. activation. <laughs> yeah, he is really a master at it. It's so yeah. much fun. Yeah. Um, and watching him draw is mesmerizing. So, um, and paint, of course. So, okay, another one, foreshortened hand. This one is not so fun, but it is very important. And yeah. you learn so much in it. Um, it's a very, very useful lesson for building skill. Um, limited palette. So another lesson, um, I didn't show the painting, but I wanted to show you the palette. So mm -hmm. Ellie, you know, as you can see in the program, um, you'll be able to see the palettes. You'll be able to see everything that's happening. All the art supplies are listed. Um, everything is taught to you step-by-step step in yes. detail. So, um, so that you can have, you know, all your questions answered or, um, sorry, that I don't want to mislead anyone. It is self-guided, the mastery program, unless you decide to choose to have a mentor or you can do group mentoring. Um, but of course, we do provide the mastery program forum on Art Social, so anyone uh, you know can connect with each other within the mastery program. We have 1,700 people on there. Um, you can get all your questions answered there. But anyways, uh, it's very in-depth uh, guidance throughout the mastery program. So everyone's favorite dog pet portrait. <laughs> <laughs> Milo uh, is so cute. So that's our dog. Yeah, uh, that's a lesson with finishing inks with Dimitra. Um, finishing inks with acrylics. So first, you learn how to use high flow inks or high flow acrylics, um, and then finish with a layer of acrylics on top of that. So painting with Mark Magin. Spray paint or painting with spray paint. So you'll learn how to do a spray paint under painting and then complete a painting um, with acrylics and actually oils on top of the acrylics as well. Um, of course, once the acrylics dry. Um, creating with collage. Oh yeah, okay. So now I wanted to show you, if you're ready, mm. what the sign up process looks like. So you can follow me in this process. We can do it together. 
exactly what it looks like. Um, and so I'm gonna go right now on a incognito browser that I have pulled up over here onto masterprogram.com. You can see it's time for you to pursue your passion for art. Some of the different artwork from the instructors. You aren't in this alone. We created Art Social just for you, the artists. Um, and this is an outdated picture. There's 1,700 people now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so you can read more about the syllabus. I believe we were pretty comprehensive, but actually if you want to like dive in and see um, a lot of the, these are all different um, weeks. These are not just individual lessons. So this is the weekly syllabus. And then within each of these weeks is a lot more uh, content as well. And I'll be showing you a look of what it looks like when you're actually um, in the program so that you can see what it's like um, what the actual learning experience will be like. So you're gonna scroll down here. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> uh, you can see some different examples of students, artwork from the mastery program. Super beautiful, abstract. And it's very diverse. Cities. So a lot of people, they wonder like, are we just teaching this one specific style? Look at and that. the answer is no. We Everyone is going through this program and you're all on your own journey and we want you to find your unique process and our goal is just exposing you to all these different techniques. And then from that, you pick and choose what you love and what makes sense for you. And then you build um, your portfolio from that. So um, as you can see, it's very diverse. Everyone has um, totally different styles. And it's really, really cool to see that. Okay. So. Here's what you do. You scroll down here to this section, and if you, you know, if you click on any of these buttons too, it'll take you down to that section. Go back to the top and click that button. It'll just take you right down here to this payment section. You can choose whether you want to do uh, the 12 month payment plan, or if you want to have instant full access to the entire program right away and save $360, then you can pay um, just the one payment and um, click here, and it will prompt you to create an account on Art Social. Um, and then once you have created your account, um, and then you will be, well, I don't want to go through and make a whole new account. So let's see. Oh yeah. Log in and proceed. Great. So then you'll be prompted to complete your purchase. Um, and then once you have, let's see, oh, I should have, um, uh, no, nah, well, I don't want to put all my card details in, uh, live on YouTube. So. <laughs> Um, anyways, this once you've purchased the program, this is what it looks like on the back end. So this is Art Social. It's the social media platform for artists that we've developed um, just for you. And um, you can fill out your own portfolio on your own account. And um, you have 11,000 followers. Yeah, more than on Instagram. Look at that. That's pretty awesome. Um, and then you can, you know, post on here. Uh, you can post several different types of posts if you're not already on Art Social. Probably most of you watching this are, um, but just as a little reminder. Um, we you have can, different communities. Yeah, you can go on here and do critiques, um, communities. Uh, so you can see the Mastery Program form. If you have group mentoring, this is what group mentoring looks like. Uh, we have, you know, Zoom classes every single month. This is the private so, group. So like last yeah. month we had identifying uh, what holds us back and learning how to overcome it with Ellie creating a mini eye and mixed media with Tanya, open studio paint along. I've heard those are a lot of fun with Brianna, um, licensing your work with Haley, super awesome portfolio. So anyways, these are some of the live classes, you know, you're on the zoom class with a mentor. Um, I'm actually going to be doing next month's. Um, and it's, yeah, it's really fun. You get to connect with other students and get feedback on your art directly from the uh, professional artists in here. And yeah, it's just a ton of fun. So, but if you aren't able to afford the group mentoring, which is $99 a month, um, or personal mentoring, which is $199 a month, this is in addition to the master program payment. Uh, then we have the master program forum where you can, you know, connect with other students on here and um, post your artwork and, you know, get feedback from others, um, just mm -hmm. like Andrea did here on this piece. So, um, Anyway, so once you have purchased the mastery program, you go over here to the mastery program but button on the side and you are in. Congratulations. Welcome to the community. Welcome to the movement. <laughs> so uh, we'll have this intro intro section where, you know, you're getting started with the mastery program. And then we have week one, part one, uh, and then week two, part two. And this is what it looks like when you actually click on a video. 
and what it will look like inside the master program. You can see Ellie with dreadlocks <laughs> there um, <laughs> and all the assignments and um, all the details of the lesson are underneath each lesson um, and any downloads such as the part one of the textbook which I forgot to mention, there is a textbook that you can follow along with. Uh, so you have written, uh, you know, guidance. A lot of students print it out or they'll even take it to a print shop, get it printed out um, so they can follow along with that. And then you can see all the art supplies and you can uh, download the presentation for the master program orientation. So in addition to, you know, having this, uh, it, it's not just an online course, I would say it's an online school. So, you know, our goal is really to help students as much as possible. And though we know not everyone can afford group mentoring and personal mentoring, we want to help students as they're starting, uh, really get started off on the right foot. So we started uh, just a couple months ago doing orientation. So you can join a call with some of our mentors or one of our mentors who will guide you. I believe it's 10 students maximum who will guide you through the first uh, you know, uh, month of the mastery program and answer any questions you have so that you can get started um, on the right foot, like I said before. So, and I then, think, oh, I was say we should get into questions. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay. Um, so I just, yeah, I just want to show you, this is what it looks like going through the program. Um, and yeah, navigating the lessons and um, you can search different weeks here. So um, like 17, let's say, yeah, week 17. Like if you're like, oh, I knew it was over there. And then <laughs> anyways, that's that's the mastery program. This is what it looks like. Um, welcome. I hope that you just went and joined with me and signed up. Uh, if not, then you probably have questions and we'll get to your questions now. So I'm going to head over back to this page and come over here to the Are YouTube. You muted? Let's um, let's not show the screen anymore because it will be multiple um It'll probably be frustrating for people to see that. So, <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, infinite screen. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's see. All right, now is the time to put your questions in the chat. We have lots of good questions. I've just paid for this month's art social. Will I be able to get reimbursed if I sign up for the master program today and pay in full? So I think you might mean art club. I'm not sure what you mean by this month's art social. Art social, just to clarify, um, is completely free for all artists. Um, you probably have an art club subscription. If you contact customer service, um, I believe we can we can reimburse you. Um, I'm not sure exactly on the policy for that, but I will contact info at milanartinstitute.com um, to get that question answered uh, specifically. So. How much should one budget for supplies? That's Bob Cochran. Um, that's a great question. So it really depends on if you're wanting to buy all your art supplies at once for each section. So you're gonna need to buy art supplies for part one and then that's oil painting and drawing. And then you'll need to buy art supplies for part two, mm -hmm. uh, which is mixed media. And we actually make <laughs> it very easy for our students and we have an art supply store if you want. And we have kits for the mastery program and they are priced really really well and um, you really get a big discount when buying our kits instead of going to the store and buying it all individually so we've just made that easier um, for you and maybe you could put the link well there. yeah but just to uh, that's milanartstore.com right? let me pull up the link to the um, oops wrong link to the um, kit specifically so if you so you can see what's inside what you'll actually need for the program yes so if you get the kit I mean, you don't have to buy the kit. You can just go buy the supplies individually. Yeah, we provide but... a comprehensive supply list. Yeah. Link. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So here's a, a photo, or uh, here's what it looks like, the Mastery Oil and Drawing Kit. And it's we didn't $600. Mention... Uh, you get 10% off We're using the code MASTERYKIT10, I believe. Yes, MASTERYKIT10, all caps. You get 10% off as a Master Program student. You'll also get this in the confirmation email once you purchase the mastery program as well. So um, make sure to use that so that you can, you know, but save sixty-five dollars. Also, really quick, go to the oil paint. This paint is our own brand, so we have developed this paint, and we work with Da Vinci. It's really high-quality oils. Um, I've used all all the brands out there, I think, in oil paint, and I have to say this is my favorite. This is the highest quality I've used. So the colors are very rich. 
um, really like fully loaded with pigments. So it's very high quality oil paint. We did and pay we... her to say that though. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have tons of students who are completely objective, who've used our paint compared colors. to Charvin, compared yes. to Gambling, compared to uh, Windsor Newton. I have all, I have Charvin paints Rembrandt. and I love Charvin. I yeah. use them. But well, they have so many different colors that mm -hmm. you just can't find elsewhere. So yeah. it's like, that's their specialty. I but would what's say. really cool about this paint is our labels. They have it labeled warm and cool, transparent, and opaque. So that's kind of what we were talking about in the beginning of this um, live with the whole color theory method that we teach. Um, we So we've already labeled the paint, so you don't have to think, oh, is this warm or cool? You have it right there on the label and you can organize your paint. So we make it really easy. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so yeah, I'm gonna post that link. People are probably like, hey, send the link already, come on. So link to the kit, um, code equals mastery kit oops put that right Ten. okay um man this is way harder without customer service helping yeah there's so many good questions <laughs> so many good questions um veronica said she's on the wait list but can't join in june she'll join in july is that okay that is okay um definitely okay um now is always the best time, but I understand sometimes it's not. And how often yeah. does the program come around online? It's once every month mm -hmm. in the beginning of the month. So that way we have students who are, you know, all joining at the same time. They go through it um, at the same time and you can connect on our social together. So, yeah, it's open the first three days of every month. Mm -hmm. Cheyenne wants to know, can you sign up for a mentor at any time or only from the start? You can use, you can have a mentor at any point throughout yes. the master program and beyond. You don't have to wait uh, or you don't have to um, cancel mentoring yeah. once you're done with the mastery program. You can have mentoring forever. And that is actually why we separate it from the mastery program because it used to be one of the like packages within the mastery program. But now you can have mentoring at any point throughout the program because uh, we understand that sometimes, you know, like someone said before, they were traveling and, you know, they feel like they won't be able to use the mentor as well while they're traveling. But then maybe when they're not, mm -hmm. then um, press pause. Yeah, yeah, they can just pause mentoring and pick back up at any time. Um, so, yeah. Oh, citizen 00011 just registered. That's so Yay, awesome. So, so if you, you're asking, where can you find the video about making your own easel? Thank you. You're so welcome. You can find that. This is the back end of Art Social. Um, just loading it up, going to Mastery Program. Let's see, getting started. How to build your easel. Lesson number three. It is right here. I've heard that the instructor is very handsome. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, it is me. <laughs> you so, are yeah. very handsome. Oh, thank you. But I, I teach you how to build an easel in just six minutes, and you can see all the materials you need. Just 10 screws, uh, three blocks of smaller wood, <laughs> um, power drill, or hammer and nails, but you probably want to use power drill. Measuring tape, three, eight foot. Anyways, you can read it all yourself. She's tapping me on the leg. Huh? Yeah, show one, show, show one, one more time. All right, so going back. So just come over here getting to the master started. program. It's under getting started. Yeah, Lesson number, three. number trace. Number and then three. studio setup was number six on yeah. there. So studio setup how to is set up six. a studio. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I think um, there was a Joseph question. wants to know if you can buy some part of the kit individually. We do offer some of the supplies. <laughs> uh, it's very funny seeing yourself live like that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you, can, you, you can buy some of the supplies. Um, we don't, uh, I, I believe. Oils are separate, brushes. Yeah, you can buy the paints or the brushes. The palette knife. Or the palette knives. Um, we don't sell each individual item separately, though. We do tend to focus those on, like, our, curated kits. Yeah, so. and those um, are, like, our specialties. Like, those are our branded brushes that we created and came up with. That's why we sell them separate. But other supplies you can find, really, at any other art supply store. The easel is not freestanding. Um, it does have to rest against the wall. Um, but you can always purchase a freestanding easel. That would be way more complicated to build. So we did not teach... Although, I think you could probably figure out how to build a pretty simple freestanding. Let's figure it out right now. No, I'm just kidding. I'm totally kidding. Uh, but I'm sure you could probably find something. Um, okay, let's go back up. Let's see. 
Uh, Paige wants to know, should I learn how to draw first? I can't draw very well. Well, that is totally fine. I didn't know how to draw at all. Actually, if you go to my Instagram, at, oh, yeah. oh, that's scroll Jake, down. and you scroll all the way to the bottom, There's you not can that many see, posts. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not that many. You can see a drawing that I did of a lion before and a drawing that I did, granted this was the video, how to draw in 15 minutes, but the lessons are even more in depth than the master program. But I watched one lesson from her mom and after that one lesson, you can see, I keep switching back and forth between the cameras. You can see the amazing transformation that I had and it's actually crazy. So um, that being said, I know from personal experience that you don't have to know how to draw. Um, you can truly just pick up uh, and, you know, as soon as you've taken, as soon as you've started taking the mastery program, you can learn exactly what you need to know, even if you can't draw a fly now. So, so some uh, LL was asking, do we have to buy all the supplies at once, or can I do it slowly? Yes. If and yes, you can buy them. Um, you know, as the program goes, so you don't need to buy it all at once. Mm -hmm. We know it's kind of a big investment. So, um, there's the oil and drawing supplies that you need. And that's for about three months. And then after those three months, you'll have the mixed media. And so then you'll need to get the mixed media supplies. And I just wanted to put it out there just so there's no confusion. Um, the mastery uh, oil and drawing kit does not include canvases um, or materials to paint on. So you will have to buy that separately. Mm -hmm. And we do provide uh, you links to you know purchase that or the exact amount of canvases and paper, paper that you'll you need. need. Yeah. Um, so and you don't work very big. You work, <clears throat> you know, like smallish, medium paintings. Um, we recommend just because these are student study pieces where you're, you're learning, you don't need to buy those really expensive thick edge canvases. Um, you can if you want to, but you don't need to. And you could buy like those value packs of canvases that come in like, like 10 of a size. So, um, Um, Cheryl wants to know if you need to complete every single lesson to get your certificate at the end. We do not track your lessons, um, but you do have to have uh, a portfolio of 25 paintings that are not uh, student paintings. So none of the paintings that you created during the mastery program. You'll also well, have to have a website. From the portfolio Some, section. Yeah, sorry. Not, not your lessons. Yes. So, so yeah. Individual new portfolio pieces that you created during the portfolio section. Uh, you have to have a website. That's branded, um, and that's really it. And we'll be able to tell. So my mom and I and um, some other people on customer service, we all go through the websites and make, by looking at your website, we can tell um, if you went through the program and did the branding and have your portfolio pieces. So that's basically um, the only criteria you need to get the certificate. Um, Lamont wants to know, I will have to go slowly due to my work schedule. Can I pay for the next month after I finish the prior month or do we have to pay monthly regardless to the pace we're going through the program? So it, it is set up on a monthly schedule. So and it's a payment plan. It's a payment plan. You will be charged every 30 days from the time that you pay. Um, and so that, that's how the payment system works. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you stop paying, then you don't have access to the program, but it's like re, leasing a car. Yeah. But if like, you restart, or a car. <laughs> if you want to like you pause and then you pick it up again, then you have, you know, those months that you paid for. Mm -hmm. Um, people are asking if we accept PayPal. Unfortunately, we do not accept PayPal as a payment processor. Um, on our website. So we just accept payments through card uh, and it is processed through Stripe. Um, Isalu said the books are included. So um, there is a digital download of the textbook that mm -hmm. is included. There's no physical copy of the book. Uh, we don't sell that so that it's, you know, accessible to everyone all over the world because some uh, nations we're unable to ship to. So, so how many art kits do the program require? It's just two. So we have the oil and drawing, and then the mixed media. Um, Isalu also wants to know: Is it necessary to know how the biz to know about the business art? Um, I'm assuming you mean like the business of art or art business side. Um, and honestly, I would say the program is way more than worth it, even if you just took the first part of the program, just the oil painting and drawing, and you add into that 
the mixed media section. And it's just so incredibly valuable because you learn how to incorporate all of the skills that you've learned in the oil and drawing section. You've now learned how to see like an artist, draw and paint in proportion, you know, use a scale tool, um, you know, really understand a lot of the more classical techniques um, that are required to paint like a master in the oil and drawing section. And you're building upon that in the mixed media section. And, and then on top of that, you learn how to create a portfolio and become a professional. And by, and by professional, we mean building studio habits, building the habits of a professional, you know, really fortifying your mentality so that you could be a professional um, in that section of the program. And really, so all that is to say, even if you didn't even want to turn this into a profession, even if you didn't want to build a career, it's absolutely worth it. There's no requirement of you to complete the marketing and business section um, and branding and learning all that. But I do think that it is very, but I think that you'll want to. Um, most students that we've found want to at least make some money from their art. Um, and maybe you don't want to turn it into your full-time profession. Um, that's fine. But I encourage you to sell your art because when you sell your art, you there is this exchange that happens. And you know the collector is giving up something. They're sacrificing something. Uh, in exchange for the art that you're giving them. And because of that, they're able to receive the value that it has. They're able to experience the transformation truly in its entirety um, from the art that you're selling them. And so I really do believe that it's like a spiritual thing and it is really powerful for you to sell your art. So I encourage you to sell it. If not, um, you know, that's completely up to you. you don't, you're not required to do it. Um, you're not required to have any previous knowledge of art business. Um, you know, of course, we'll teach you everything you need to know. But um, that being said, you know, I think I covered it. <laughs> <laughs> so I was reading the comments and some of you are asking or Demi, Denise is asking, um, should I have the same brushes for acrylic and oil painting at the same time or should I buy separate brushes for each? And you can use the same brushes um, for oil and acrylic, but I would just say, like what I do personally, I have a lot of brushes and I like to keep them separate. Um, yeah, why don't you show some of ours? So these are our um, Milan Mastery oil brushes. They're really high quality. Um, some of these are real fur, others are just really high quality synthetic, like this one right here. And um, I'm just this can be great. More. These can be great for acrylic, and sometimes I do use them for acrylic. But you just gotta have, you just have to wash them more and take better care of them if you want to use them for oil too. And then um, the mixed media brushes that we have are Fearless set. That doesn't that have was a one label. Of the test this brushes. is a test brush, yeah. but this is one of the brushes in the kit, and um, this one too. Here it is. <laughs> so, yeah, these. Um, these could also be used for oil. So the mixed media but not means all of them, mixed though, media. Right? No, you can use them. Oh, okay. Really, yeah, our mastery and fearless could be for both oil and acrylic, but a lot of people do like to keep them separate. Yeah, but because they will the last personal longer. preference. Yeah. Okay. Will I get the mentor I, I specifically want? Yes, you can mm -hmm. absolutely request a mentor and get the mentor that you want. Yep. Um, just I think there's a as form long as they when have you space, but yeah. Yeah, as long as yeah, as long as they're accepting new students, um, there's a form for you to submit once you do sign up for uh, mentoring, and that will allow you uh, to choose the mentor that you want. Or you can have us um, after you fill out a questionnaire, uh, assign you a mentor based off of your time zone and your preferences and what you're looking for in mentoring. So. Lamont is asking, do we learn to use a projector to get the outline or trace of the object figure onto our paintings? So later in the program, we do uh, show how to use a projector because that really speeds up um, the paint, the whole painting process if you want to start with the drawing. And it's a good skill to have to know how to use a projector. And it just makes everything go faster instead of drawing it, um, you know, just just drawing it so um but it's really important that you learn how to draw in the beginning and you have that skill you really need the skills to draw and um not just skip to using a projector so yeah but we do cover that 
Um, okay, Shrada wants to know, can we get a job as an artist instead of business after completing the course? That's a great question, because I do know a lot of artists aren't so interested in building a business. That takes a lot of work, right? Um, well, actually, there are ways for you to have a job or work for like somewhat of an employer, um, and that the best route for that is to go with a publisher or work with a licensing representative mm -hmm. or work with galleries. In that sense, they're more handling the business side of the of the art, and mm -hmm. you are just focusing on doing what you absolutely love, which is painting. Um, Dimitri decided to self represent because when you do have a job as an artist. Um, there are sacrifices that you have to make. Yeah. So for example, um, your employer will want you to paint what will sell more. Um, and so yeah. you might have to sacrifice and compromise on some what of- What you want to paint. And what you want to paint, exactly. And so there's definitely, just as there are with anything in life, there are sacrifices that you have to make either way. Uh, when you want to start your own art business, you will have to sacrifice time. You will have to, you know, spend more. I wouldn't, I don't like calling it sacrifice, but you, <laughs> it sounds so, Anyways, uh, <laughs> you'll have to spend more time and, you know, dedicate some time on the weekends, maybe wake up a little earlier, go to sleep a little bit later, uh, work in the evenings, not watch TV, you know, um, do put in the extra hours to have your own business. But that is, you know, the, the price that you pay for um, your total creative freedom within your own business. So, and honestly, building a business really is a creative venture in and of itself. So I highly recommend it, but I do not... Um, want to retract from the idea of having uh, a publisher or a licensing rep or um, someone else working on your behalf as well. That is definitely a very valid route. And we do share about that in the master program. Um, just really quickly to answer Minnie's question. Um, yes, you learn how to ship your paintings. We have a whole lesson on how to package and ship. Um, uh, Cariation uh, wants to know if I don't take mentoring and something isn't clear in a lesson, do I have someone to ask for a clarification? So um, we provide, so the reason why we don't include mentoring in the master program is because we want to make the master program as affordable as possible for everyone because we have students all over the world from all different uh, financial situations and we don't change the pricing of the program depending on where you live because that would be messed up. And so what we've done is we've separated mentoring from the program uh, because we're not able to pay the mentors fairly unless we separate that out and it's an added expense. So um, you can, however, within the mastery program forum, ask questions and other students who have graduated um, and even some mentors sometimes, but not guaranteed, will answer your questions within the mastery program forum or one of us might be able to get to it. But however, um, you know, as that's, you know, the you do have to pay extra in order to get that personalized attention guaranteed um, because that's just the price you pay for other people's time. So, um, okay. Um, do Thank artists you. sell prints on top of originals? Yes, yes, actually we have an entire section dedicated to selling prints, mm -hmm. understanding the different types of prints to sell because when I first started, I didn't know that there were different types of prints, but there's open edition prints, there's limited edition prints, there are, um, uh, I'm now I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> There's hand embellished prints. There's all sorts of different types of ways to monetize your art and to sell more art um, and, you know, make more money from each image that you create. And we teach you how to do that in the mastery program. So, also, sorry. Mm, go ahead. Sorry. There's so many questions. I don't know if we, we can't get to them all, but um, Nay is asking if I started making monthly payments, can I decide to, to pay the remaining balance in full? And yes, you can do that. Yeah. If you contact customer service, mm -hmm. um, you can totally do that. So maybe we should answer just like one or two more questions. Okay. Um, JC said, I'm struggling to find a space to paint. Anyone in Costa Mesa, California have a studio to share or know of an artist co-op in the area? So that's a great idea. Um, that is actually, cool. working in an artist co-op would be Super fun. I suggest joining your local community uh, groups on Facebook. You can find yeah. so much helpful resources there in local community groups reaching out there. Um, if not, then, you know, if you go to, um, um, I don't know, I don't know if you're a part of like a church community or some sort of spiritual community, a lot of times they'll have a recreational room that you could potentially use as well um, as a studio. Uh, granted, this won't be your own personal space, most likely, um, but yeah, finding an artist co-op, 
However, as she said before, you really don't need that much space in order to paint. If you can find, I believe, uh, six feet by six feet, then that's enough space. You might be a little bit cramped, you know, but if you can, you know, move a dresser somewhere else and put your easel up on the wall there, or, um, you know, I don't know, move your couch and use part of your living room, or, um, you know, I we've even had some students paint, uh, your, remove their dining table from uh, their, you know, house and just paint in the dining room. So, mm -hmm. anyways. So, Nikki is asking a very good question on um, what kind of interaction can you expect with your mentor? Like, how much attention will you get? So, you get access to them basically 24-7. So, um, well, they take Sundays off, right? Yes. So, 24-6. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But you can ask them questions at any time. You get... Um, you get connected on Telegram, right? Mm -hmm. So Telegram is where um, you'll connect with your mentor and you text them and you get monthly Zoom calls to answer all your questions. But you can ask them questions anytime during the day, anytime you're painting and feel stuck, you can get a critique and they answer really quickly. So mm -hmm. um, they they're have, requ yeah, yeah, sorry. they're required to get back to you within 24 hours, but most of the time it's just like either a few minutes or a couple hours. So, mm -hmm. um, they get, are working professional artists themselves. Yeah. So, you know, they're not always available all the time and you're not allowed allowed. I mean, you know, of course it works out between you and the mentor, but we don't promise that you can call them and that's not included in mentoring. Although you do have uh, a monthly call yes. with your mentor every single month where you can do a zoom call, you get face to face with them. Um, but it's all done through texting, mm -hmm. um, and sending images that way. And, and what's really cool. Telegram is you can send images and your mentor can circle things and like write on the image. Give you really like I'm a mentor and I mentor students through telegram and it's really easy. And like you can get very specific instruction through just texting. Mm -hmm. So um, they find a lot of value in that. And I think having a mentor is an amazing option. And if you can't afford it, definitely go for it because um, it's you'll you'll just not regret it. Mm -hmm. It's really, really great. I already know some people are wondering, oh, I want Demetra as my mentor. You can have <laughs> Demetra as your mentor. However, she does charge more than the normal mentoring cost um, just you know because she's very busy, she's filming, working all the time. And also maintaining a professional career. So if you want to have Dimitri as a mentor, you can. It is an additional $499 a month um, on top of the master program. So it's $699 total um, every month. But that being said, you get Dimitri as your mentor with all of her experience too. So that is, I would think, priceless and invaluable. And you also kind of get me as a mentor as well through Demetra too, because ask she'll ask question, me like, questions yeah. too. What do you think about this? <laughs> and what, what about this? And so anyways, but it's, it's her. Yeah. I'm not going to be on your Zoom calls, but <laughs> um, Bianca wants to know how much guidance is there for creating a website? I created, I think, is it a two hour video Tanner? I can't remember. It's an hour and 20 minutes. Um, and that's including a time lapse of literally every single step that I took and creating my own website. Um, and we can go to my website right now. Um, and so I can just show you what it looks like. So this is the website that I made. Um, and you can see how to build this exact website, um, just like I created. And, oh, sorry. So this is the website. You can see the exact, you know, I'll show you the exact template. I walk through the different options, whether to use Shopify, Wix, Squarespace, whatever. Um, I go through all the pros and cons. And I um, show you exactly all the copy that I wrote. I created an entire template for it um, so that you can just uh, change the template according to you know the copy that you're writing. And for those of you who don't know, copy is just marketing words on your website. <laughs> so um, anyways, so yeah, I created this entire website um, start to finish and you can see exactly how I did it. And yeah, learn how to make this website for yourself too. So yeah. Um, yeah, that's it's pretty in depth, I would say. Okay, going back. Um, okay, all right. This has been wonderful. Um, we have had so much fun answering all your questions. It is so exciting. We both get 
so happy and excited every single month when we have the open registration uh, because we know that more artists are stepping into their destiny. More artists are answering the call that is deep within their hearts, deep within their spirits uh, to become an artist. And, you know, the master program is really the fastest and most effective way for you to learn how to create the art that's inside you um, that's waiting to be put onto the canvas and turn that into a career as a professional. So um, I've had an absolute pleasure um, going through all of this mm -hmm. and I absolutely um, yes. am so excited for you to go through the mastery program and experience the life-changing um, transformation that it has waiting for you so yeah you um, guys will love this program it's really life-changing and um, it's so so worth it so just sign up right now you're not going to regret it it's just going to change your life from the very beginning and you'll see your skills just skyrocket yeah it's really really exciting yeah and you're gonna love it yeah we can't wait for you um i've seen so many people already have signed up and i'm so excited for all of you uh so yeah if you're thinking about it go hit the link uh you can read more about the master program hopefully we answered all your questions if not feel free to reach out to us at info at milanart.com um, and our customer service team will get back to you but um that being said yep some people just joined. LL just joined. So, so exciting. exciting. We're so happy for you. And all the other artists who are choosing to pursue their passion for art uh, this month and, you know, becoming a starting the journey to becoming a professional artist. So thank you so much for watching and we will see you on the other side. <laughs>